Hello, everyone. It's your weekly pastor's message. Uh, buckle up. There's a lot of stuff to get through today. All of it good. And But the first thing is, is are you resting in the heart of the Lord? That's what we all need to be doing in this busy time, right? To keep our hearts centered on the Lord, all for Him, and to uh, just, just put Him first, and everything else will find its rightful place. So, first of all, rest in the Lord. And here's what's going on at Christ the King. Uh, first of all, we have Alpha. We're on the cusp of our first Alpha experience. Our team has been hard at work. I'm so grateful for, for all those who uh, stepped forward and to put this team together. There's, I think, about 30 of us. Is that right, Marilyn? Yeah, about 30 of us on this team. Table leaders, hospitality, registration, speakers, and all that. Yeah, because we're not going with videos in our Alpha experience. We have live speakers or people from our own community uh, sharing the Lord with us. So sign up. We are, I think, over 100 people registered now, but we can go to 150 some, and we'd love to fill the Paris Center with uh, your beautiful faces. So, so sign up here, and, and uh, that can be done online. In the back of church, there's, there's alpha invites. You can use the QR code to find it. You can take those, a couple of those invites, invite your spouse, invite a family member, or invite your neighbor. Uh, to come and to join us for this for this awesome experience. So Alpha is upon us, and we want everybody there. Also, our school year is underway. It is so um, so beautiful. I just I, I love going over to that school. I'm teaching uh, the Path of Wisdom philosophy class today, and I had one of my sixth graders. I have all the sixth graders right now, and one of them walked up and he was putting his book away, and he looked at me and he says, "I." Yes, teaching them about Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, asking the hard questions, giving reasons, having a dialogue, all that kind of stuff that is so missing in our society today and our culture. So we're, we're hard at it, and I, I hope to share some, some uh, news as well. It looks like we're getting some of our test scores back at the beginning of the year, and we're finding out what happens when you do Catholic liberal education is that the kids don't forget their stuff over the summertime. They come back with a lot of retention. I think our test scores are showing that. So uh, just another reason why we, we, we do Catholic liberal education. Uh, some of you have asked me, and have, you know, I've seen it, is, is we have you know, CTK uh, wear, CTK wear, sweatshirts, T-shirts, long sleeve shirts, uh, stuff with our, our logo on, our beautiful logo. And that's available to everyone, not just school families and, and students and whatnot, but uh, everyone, including especially parishioners. And so it's real easy to do. We're going to put something in the bulletin, um, but but it's on. You can order it online at any time, uh, directly from um, um, landsin.com. That's one of our uh, vendors that has our stuff, as well as uh, globalschoolware.com. And there's it's you know, Christ the King under under that because there's lots of schools that use these companies. But our stuff is there, so you can go on, order it online, wear it around, wear it proud of, of CTK. One of the things we're doing as well to help uh, build on our strategy and our playbook about a shared life, you know, of, of our school and parish as one community, is it's to feature our teachers. That I think everybody in the parish should know who our teachers are, what they're about. And each week we are featuring one of our teachers. Uh, we'll be featuring that in the bulletin as well as in the family email of the school and on our, on our social media. But uh, we started one last week and then, and then this week. So we have our pre-K teacher, uh, Mrs. Keoli, and she's been with us here at Christ the King for two years. She has 20 years experience in, in Catholic education. Uh, she has an associate's degree in early childhood education from Mount Hood Community College. Her favorite saint is St. Therese of Lisieux because she is the saint of the little ways and believe in doing little things in life well and they pay well. She loves gardening with her husband and going to the beach with her family. And why did the question, why did I choose to teach at Christ the King? She says, I love taking care of the kids and watching them grow. I want to guide them in the right direction and make a difference in their lives by being one of their first steps. So great to have you aboard, uh, Mrs. Keoli, at, in our pre-K. And um, look forward to the year ahead. 
The second teacher we're featuring is Mrs. McLean, and she's uh, been with us uh, quite a while. She's our kindergarten teacher. She's been 12 years at Christ the King, so all of her years in education have been here at Christ the King. She has a bachelor's degree in human development and family sciences from Oregon State University. She has her master's in elementary education from Warner Pacific. Her favorite saint is St. Elizabeth Ann Seton because she was a Catholic educator and lived out the virtues of patience and kindness. She enjoys gardening, hiking, baking, and spending time with her husband and daughter. And why did she choose to teach at CTK? She says, I love teaching at CTK because I get to spend each day guiding and watching my students grow in their faith. The community at Christ the King is amazing, and I feel supported and loved by the staff and staff members. Well, great to have you aboard, Mrs. McLean, and the great things that you're doing in kindergarten. The virtue we're working with this week, again, is fortitude. And one of the reflections that the school uh, heard this week is fortitude enables us to endure difficulties and pain for the sake of what is good. Sometimes doing the right thing is hard. For example, you might know that you need to spend time on your homework, but give in to doing something else like playing video games because it's too hard to make the effort. Fortitude helps us to do what we know we should do. And with a little prayer, we should pray, Dear Jesus, I know that you made me to be a virtuous person who joyfully does the right thing, but sometimes I give in even when I know I should, what I should do. Help me to practice fortitude as we stick my good resolutions on man. Let's pray for and exercise that virtue of fortitude. We have some immediate needs at Christ the King in the parish. The first is... For gardening, we have all these flower beds that are around, and people have made them to be so nice, and I get comments constantly from visitors and guests about how beautiful our grounds work, look, but uh, that takes effort, and that takes time, and we need some more help in our, in our flower beds. Um, so there's no experience necessary, just a desire to be outside and work in Jesus' love, and tending the garden for Jesus. And, and there's a variety of areas available, uh, both large and small. So uh, there's more information in the bulletin for that if you wish to pitch in and help and spend some time. Also, we need a few more people to help with vacuuming the church on Friday mornings after Mass. Uh, the Altar Society is requesting help from some strong individuals to help with cleaning the church after Mass on Fridays, even if just on a fill-in basis. Uh, can, you exist, can you assist? This is great because that, that church cleaning on Fridays makes it a, a ple more pleasant experience for everybody when they come to Mass on the weekend. So if you, uh, Lord, moves your heart in that way to, to uh, help us out there, we certainly appreciate it. Christ the King is hosting Modern Day Radio's uh, Leadership Circle Breakfast. This is an event that they do around archdiocese and they asked to have it here at Christ the King. So we are having uh, the breakfast with them from 7 o'clock to 8.30 with Mass to follow at Christ the King Parish on Wednesday, September 25th. So uh, it, there'll be Deacon Scott Aiken there, Sister Teresa Harrell from the Society of Mary, and Rolando Moreno from the Cheshire Academy in Salem. Uh, there's tickets are 10 bucks at moderndayradio.com. We'll be here at, the, at our parish center here at Christ the King. We have back to school night coming up. That's going to be Wednesday, September 18th here in the parish center. This is for all of our school families, so keep them in your prayers as we kick off this new school year. As you know, we host the Encounter School of Ministry here at, in the Portland area at Christ the King. And there's a, some more chances to try the Encounter experience. We had the summer intensive this summer, but uh, you're, you're, it's open to come to the first three classes of the year to learn to live the supernatural lifestyle. That's uh, Thursday, September 19th, as well as Thursday, September 26th. 
So uh, there's more information in the bulletin. The Filipino Catholic community of the Portland area is having their annual mass for uh, San Lorenzo Ruiz. And this is the 28th celebration of his feast day. It's going to be here at Christ the King on Sunday, September 29th at 4 o'clock. There'll be mass at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, followed by the, the uh, dinner in Paris. We are kicking off the programs for sacramental preparation. That's first confession, first holy communion, confirmation, family of faith. It's all happening now, and there's just one thing you need to do. Sign up. Thank you for doing that. And we're gonna, we are gonna we have some really exciting stuff this year. Um, and we kind of retooled some things, rearranged some things to make it even have an even bigger impact on families. Uh, I'm really excited about it. and to see is really how we can involve our families in the catechesis of their kids, helping to equip the parents as the first educators of their, uh, the primary educators of their children, uh, and as well as all of us going, into, going more deeply into the relationship with Jesus in the Eucharist. That's what we're all about here. And so there's information in the bulletin for any of those programs and to sign up, and especially if you haven't tried Family of Faith yet. It is, it is a great place to grow and to meet other families and to strengthen one another in the bonds of friendship and, and raising your kids together. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. And then finally, just to give you an update on a, on a couple things, we are in the process of moving ahead with our HVAC in the church. Hunter Davison was out here today. They were doing the mapping the layout of the wiring uh, for the new units. Hopefully those units will be dropping here in late September and hopefully PGE is coming through with hooking us up. But we've been having inspections and stuff as the work has progressed. Um, so thank you for your patience and keep praying for a successful completion of that project. Uh, hope to have the air conditioning ready just in time for winter, so don't worry. No, but, th but really, that's also our heat as well. So we want to have all the controls. Remember, our, the, our old system, the controls, were we were locked out of them because of the software. So we were flying blind. So hopefully this year we'll be new units and, and uh, be able to, to adjust the, the heat as needed. The other thing, too, is, is just to give you an update on our church beautification project. This is our team that's been meeting uh, to discuss and talk through a renovation of the interior of our church, of, of bringing in some more sacred art, of, of, of bringing a, a, a real sense of, you've heard the why before, what, why we're doing this. Uh, so where we are right now is that uh, we have uh, Cecilia Becker, who's an architect and grew up in our parish, daughter of Deacon Will and Teresa Becker. She has rendered the interior of the church in a 3D digital model uh, called Revit, and uh, it is a very, very fun and cool piece of software. Uh, you can spin the church around. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can be in any sort of position of, of um, angle of looking at, at different parts of the church. And that's going to really help us going forward when we start to come up with ideas about what to do. And then we can show people to even get an actual visual of what it will look like. Um, so our next meeting is scheduled for mid-October, and that's where we hope to, to get some consensus on, on any adjustments to the layout of the church architecturally uh, before we start looking at the art. And so, uh, and again, if you have uh, input for that, please uh, let me know. Send me an email. Uh, share your idea at Coffee and Donuts. Um, but again, this is just to, to help um, up our game and, and our church and, and, and putting Jesus in the Eucharist is the very first thing. What else? Oh. And just to give you a heads up, uh, we're, we've just got the materials for funding Future Saints. That's our fall fundraiser for the school. Uh, the cards are now printed and out, and it just encourages us all to give. Again, this is, this is uh, helping for our tuition assistance and well as our endowment. This, these, these funds are matched um, by the Weston Foundation 
uh, to help keep the financial stability of our school and really to be able to offer tuition assistance to those who need it so they can be in a higher class with education at that stipend, especially for our first year. So thank you for your generosity. And please come to the breakfast. It's going to be Thursday, November 14th. We're going to have mass and then, and then um, our, our uh, program at noon and in the parking lot. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you around.